Many of us love using autotune. Unfortunately, not many of us know how to use it properly, especially if you want to sound natural. Instead, a lot of vocals are here. Either end up sounding like robots or they sound like a cheap knockoff version of T-Pain. If you want to know how to use autotune to get natural sounding vocals in just four steps, hit the like button and let's get started. So if you want to know how to get natural sounding vocals while using autotune, the first thing we'll do is load up autotune, which you have right here, and select the input type, the key and the scale, all right? Now, if you don't know the key and scale of your production or the song you sang on, there are programs you can use like Antares Auto Key, which we'll get to shortly, which listens to the beat and tells you the key. Or you can use a free website like TuneBats, which you can simply drag and drop your beat into it and it tells you the key and the scale. On here, I have the auto key loaded up on the beat right here. So it's going to listen to the beat and then tell me, you know, the key. So I'm going to press play. Before. So using tunebats.com, I'll simply click the key and BPM finder. Then I'm just simply going to drag and drop my song. Just drag it and drop it here. So you see instantly it tells you your key. Sometimes the BPM may be wrong, okay, but the key and the scale is most times correct, okay? So F minor. So all I have to do is come to auto-tune now and click, um, you come to key, F, then scale, minor, okay? So now it's all set. Now for the input type, you can see there are different modes right here. Okay, we have the soprano, the alto tenor, the low male instrument and bass instrument, okay? Now, if you are a regular male singer, okay, most times your voice type or the input type will be low male, okay? Like this guy, this artist right here, we in low male. But if you are, maybe you are a guy and your voice is a bit more higher pitched, okay? Alto tenor is fine. Or if you're a lady and your voice is a bit on the lower register, alto tenor is also fine. But if you have a very high pitch, you're trying to hit some high notes, okay? While singing most of the time, soprano works great. So I'm going to come back down to low male, okay? Without setting anything, just listen to it to see how it sounds. So you can already hear the auto tune working, but if you observe, it's sounding kind of artificial and a little bit robotic. Okay, so now we're going to make it sound natural. Next is the step two, which is the retune speed. Okay, now unless you want to sound like the pain or a robot, you need to know how much retune speed you actually need okay which is actually you know how fast it retunes your vocal if you struggle to hit most of the notes while singing anywhere within um eight about eight to twelve should work for you or eight to fifteen okay within that range is fine which is a fast retune speed to help lock you in most of the time so you can hit notes that you're unable to hit okay now if you are hitting most of the notes and maybe you're just falling flat on a few places like this artist right then you don't need to use that much um, retune speed. Maybe within 15 to 25 can work for you. So let me just set it at, let's say, um, 22 for now, okay? Of course, I'll adjust this gradually, but for now, I'll just leave it here. All right, so we just this change. Let's listen to the before and the after. Before. Make you do what they think so we never do before. Make you try what they think so we never try before. You can see it's no longer sounding as robotic and artificial as it sounds. It still sounds a little bit like that, but it's not as obvious anymore, okay? So remember the retune speed. You need to remember how much you actually need, okay? All right, so for the third step, to get a more natural vocal when using auto-tune, we need to adjust the flex tune. Now what the flex tune does is that it helps preserve the vocal gestures that most artists make when singing, okay? And most times, these are involuntary gestures that artists make. Sometimes it's involuntary, sometimes it's voluntary. It can be like vibrato. It can be maybe the way they flex their vocals to hit some notes while singing, okay? So now this will allow for more variation. Most times I leave this within 50, okay? Within 50 to 100, depending on, you know, how much variation, how much, um, and how much vocal gestures I hear, okay? So let's just start at, let's say, um, 60 for now, 68 for now, and then we'll listen. Before. Mm -hmm. Make you do what they think, so we never do before. Make you try all the things 
so we we'll never try before. Uh, Don't you pay attention to this part right here. And if I take it down to the original. See, it sounds so robotic when it's down to zero. When I take it all the way down to about um 16, 8 or 69. It sounds less robotic, okay? So you can see it allows for more expression. So we never do before. Make you try out the thing so we never try before. Make you go to the places so never go before. Now it sounds more natural. So the fourth step you need to know to avoid sounding like a robot when you use auto-tune is to know what this button does, okay? This button is often overlooked when I see most people use auto-tune. The humanized feature is so helpful that it retains some realism to sustain notes when you are using fast retune speeds, okay? Now, if you or your artist is holding a note for long and auto-tune is on, you may notice some robotic or artificial feel, but it goes away when you turn it off. This is something that is common if you've been using auto-tune for a while, okay? Now, the humanized feature applies a slower retune speed only on those sustained notes so that it sounds more natural. Like it doesn't work on it too fast, okay? So that it preserves that flexing and that and way you sustain those notes. And an effective way to use this feature is to identify one of those sustained notes in your vocal, okay? And adjust the humanized feature till it sounds more natural. For example, this part right here. Uh, this region right here. Uh, Alright, so now you're already getting close to sounding very natural, so but this is going to just take us there completely, okay? And most times I always adjust this within 50 to 100 as well, okay? So let's see around here again and see how it sounds. So you see, let's listen again. So I'm going to turn up the auto tune. We we'll listen to three instances, okay? When it's turned off, default state when it was sounding robotic and how it's sounding now, okay? So now it's turned off. And this is it when it's just in the default setting after you set your inputs, your key and your skill. And this is how it sounds with the settings we've done so far. You can see it sounds more natural, more transparent, but at the same time still keeping the vocals well tuned, okay? And if maybe you want some of that auto-tune effect, you still want to hear a little bit of it, but without still making the vocals sound weird and shaky and glitchy, right? You can simply increase the retune speed. For example, I can take this retune speed maybe down to 13 or 11, and then hear it sounds now. Make you do what the things so we never do before. Ba, ba, ba. Make you try out the things so we never try before. Uh, make you go to the places so never go before. So you can see you can hear more of the auto tune effect, but at the same time, it sounds more natural as well. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button so that people can find this video and know how to tune their vocals so we can have less robotic and more natural sounding tuned vocals. I remember so classy. See you soon. Cheers.